Have you ever imagined cars driving themselves without any human intervention? It might sound like a dream, but guess what? It's becoming a reality. There are already some cars on the road that can drive themselves partially, but the researchers are working hard to make fully autonomous cars. In this particular video, we'll explore the fascinating world of autonomous vehicles. We'll uncover the logic behind them, what they actually are and how do they see and how they work without human intervention. But before we begin with that, I'd like to request you guys to enable both the subscribe button and bell icon for IntelliPath YouTube channel to come across more updates like this. First of all, let's try to comprehend how self-driving cars can see the objects in the surrounding. For that, let's imagine that there is a self-driving car running on the road. Also, to increase complexity, let's say that it's late night with pitch dark and on a road, there are few obstacles in front of the car. The car now needs to see and understand these objects to make safe decisions without any human intervention. To do this, the car uses smart eyes called sensors. These sensors work like magic, giving the car all the information about the size, shape and position of the obstacles in just a split seconds, no matter how dark or tough the conditions are. To achieve this complex task, the car uses a special laser-based tool called LiDAR and a smart communication technology called Integrated Photonics. LiDAR sends out laser beams that bounces off the objects and come back to the car sensors, creating a 3D map of a surrounding. It's like a magical blueprint that tells the car where everything is, even tiny details like the button on someone's shirt. But how does it measure the shape and depth of the objects? Well, LiDAR continuously fires laser pulses to measure the distance. For example, if there is a dog in front of a car, one pulse might hit the base of dog's ear and the next one might reach the tip of the ear before bouncing back. By measuring the time it takes for the pulses to return, the car can understand the shape of dog's ear. With a lot of short pulses, LiDAR renders a detailed profile of the object. The most obvious way to create pulses is to switch the laser on and off. But this makes the laser unstable and affects the precise timing of its pulses, which limits the depth resolution. So it's better to leave it on and use something else to periodically block the light reliably and rapidly. That's where Integrated Photonics steps in. Integrated Photonics uses tiny optical circuits to manipulate light and precisely control its path. It's like having a super smart traffic controller for light. So instead of switching the laser on and off, which can be unstable and affect the timing of pulses, Integrated Photonics steps in to efficiently block the light at just the right moments. This ensures the laser pulses are delivered with precise timing, resulting in a high resolution depth map. With this powerful duo of LiDAR and Integrated Photonics, the car can now create detailed profile of every object it encounters on the road. It's like giving a car superpower to see and understand the world around it. As the car continues its journey, it uses this constantly updating 3D map to navigate safely through the ever-changing environment. It can make split-second decisions, avoid obstacles, and keep everyone on board out of harm's way. Besides these two tools, cars also put a multitude of cameras to use in order to have extra distance calculation factor for optimal decision making. I hope now you guys understand how autonomous vehicles can see and sense the environment around them. Alright, now that the car can see and understand its surrounding, it needs to process all that sensory data to make smart decisions on the road. Now let's suppose an autonomous car is running on one-way lane, surrounded by vehicles coming from the opposite direction on one side and other vehicles moving alongside it on the same lane. The car's smart sensors such as LiDAR and cameras continuously collect information about the surrounding environment. They detect the positions, speeds and trajectories of all nearby vehicles, including those approaching from the opposite direction and those driving alongside our autonomous vehicle. The complex algorithms inside CAS onboard computer come into play. These algorithms analyze all the data gathered by the sensors in real time. They consider various factors like the relative distances, speeds and the predicted path of other vehicles to understand the potential risk and safe options available. The algorithm follows a set of rules to prioritize safety and avoid any collisions. If there is enough space on the lane, the car may continue driving in its designated lane, maintaining a safe distance from other vehicles. 
The algorithms ensure that the car keeps a buffer zone and adjusts its speed to prevent any chances of accidents. In a more complex situation where the lane becomes crowded or the approaching vehicles are too close, the algorithms might make the decisions to slow down or even stop the car temporarily to allow safe passage for other vehicles. This is similar to how human driver would slow down and yield in such situations. The algorithms also continuously adapt to changing conditions. If there are sudden changes in the position or movements of other vehicles, the car smart algorithms can quickly adjust the driving strategy to ensure safety and smooth traffic flow. Furthermore, the autonomous car can communicate with other smart vehicles on the road, sharing data about its movement and intentions. This communication helps create a collaborative driving environment where all the vehicles work together to avoid conflicts and ensure safe driving. Currently, we don't have complete autonomous vehicles on the road, but intensive research is going on in the industry. However, even the partial autonomous vehicles have also come a long way. As much as these vehicles drive on the road, they keep learning and improving themselves. I mean, have a look at this footage of Tesla Autopilot visualizing surroundings and making decisions. This is quite magical, isn't it? But there is more to come. With today's video, we overlooked the fundamental idea of how self-driving vehicles work. I hope this video was informative for all of you guys out there. Thank you for watching this video and subscribe to IntelliPath YouTube channel to come across more technical videos like this.